So I'm working on a uh, dual sport conversion and uh, my dirt bike doesn't have any form of security on it. Uh, you can pretty much flip on the ignition switch, hit the start button and go. Um, and uh, in the process of making it street worthy and street safe, I'm uh, needing to set up an immobilizer circuit. So I decided I might want to try RFID. So I picked up one of these modules here, which has been taken out of its plastic housing. Uh, much to the manufacturer's dismay, and um, it uh, is simply provides a momentary 12 volt switched output um, that you can use to drive a relay or whatever else. More than likely a relay because you can't get much current out of it. So I have it driving this first relay here. This first relay drives the second relay, which is a latching mechanism for the third relay, which actually is going to support the circuits that are going to be you know interrupted which is going to be my ignition circuit and my starter circuit on my dirt bike um, so in this case i have it driving a little led halo here and i have my 12 volt source or 13 volt source here coming from a little power supply ac dc power supply uh, with a little 5 amp fuse just to be on the safe side this here is the rfid transceiver little guy here are the RFID uh, remote modules. They're pretty small, as you can see. It's a quarter right there. They're uh, you know about twenty or thirty percent bigger than a quarter. Not too incredibly thick. You know, not too terrible about of a key fob. And uh, so what's going to happen here is this little red LED status light is going to light up as long as the RFID is within range of the antenna. So. Um, since I need a switched or lat uh, latched output here to, uh, you know, so my ignition doesn't die randomly if my RFID module gets any interference or becomes disconnected, I need to devise the latching mechanism. So here it is in action. I'll come out of here a little bit. Just pick up the module. So should work pretty well. I'm going to downsize everything. I think I'm going to pot this circuit board in uh, fiberglass resin and that should completely waterproof it and these guys I'm probably going to use a small um, solid state relay uh, for all three and uh, put it in a little circuit board or something to just miniaturize the entire setup since it doesn't really need to support a whole lot of current. Um, and that's it. You can see if I put the antenna or the RFID module close to the antenna momentary switch goes, but it doesn't matter because I have my latched relays holding the circuit on. Um, in this, uh, in the final case, you would want to basically uh, disengage all of this, and uh, to do so, I would just turn off the ignition, which is what would be driving my main circuit here, and that will kill the whole circuit. And I can plug it back in, and. She's good to go for the next time I turn the ignition on. That's it.